Underground subscribers, Chinese company uses 3D printing to build 10 houses a day. This Chinese firm called Sunwin is one of the many Chinese companies that are 3D printing and they're building 10 small houses per day. The significance to this in the housing bubble in China is that these houses are very affordable. In fact, the frame of this house here that you see uh, in the configuration uh, of the square meters and footage that the company uh, specializes in is about five thousand US dollars equivalent this is affordable for almost any Chinese middle-class uh, family and uh, they're basically doing this in the suburbs and you can see here the giant 3d printer which uh, is large enough to cover the framework of the 3d printed houses now 3D printing has been talked about a lot and it's a real game changer and I'm going to talk to you a lot more about 3D printing in uh, the near future here but uh, when you consider that most Chinese are house slaves uh, basically they're leveraged to the hilt with um, uh, loans for houses that um, they can not possibly pay for in the inner cities um, and then you have this firm here 3D printing houses and you can even bring in your own CAD files and have it customized. There's no additional cost for that. So uh, for most Chinese families that want to live in the suburbs, and yes, the suburbs are growing in China because of the car culture. It's the hottest car market in the world, and yes, they are growing suburbs here, just like in post-World War II United States. So what's the effect of these 3D printers on the current housing uh, bubble in China? Well, we can already see that They've overbuilt um, in the houses in the inner city. And you can bet that based on the past of China that uh, they'll overbuild 3D printed houses, even though there may not be a demand for those. Um, they've been doing it for years. If you go back to the Maoist days, where everything was cookie cutter, Maoist uniforms, and everybody had the same this and that, uh, they were uh, overproducing things that they didn't need and they were underproducing uh, the things that they did need. Now, uh, in the suburb of Shanghai, in the city of Wuxi, which is a fast-growing area of high-tech factories, the property market has been sluggish. Now, this isn't the case in most of China, but there are pockets where you see it cooling off due to overbuilding and, of course, uh, developments like 3D printed houses and alternative housing. Let's look at the numbers here um, for the Chinese housing market. Now we can see that uh, when you have 18 percent growth year on year in some of these cities um, you can realize that this bubble cannot be sustained. No, no uh, asset class or nothing that uh, you can buy um, can sustain a, a 16, 18 percent growth per year. There has to be a point where people wake up and realize that they're they're paying millions of yuan for one and two bedroom shacks that fall apart and the backlash is going to be severe so uh, 3d printing houses not just for China coming to a country near you so before you lay down a significant amount of money for that uh, condo or one or two bedroom flat and take out a bank loan that you cannot possibly afford, consider the fact that this is a game changer. 